it. And Tito's always going to be a hard one for me. Because I whipped Tito, made Tito tap on television, let the hold go. He denied tapping. Fight continues. Tito comes out with his hand raised, and then I got to live with it. And losing to Tito's a very tough spot. Many people are not good losers. Most people are good winners. Tito is the worst winner. He will rub your nose in it like the puppy that missed the paper. All right, holiday lines, two delta, take one. So, Tito, where are you getting for uh, chill for Christmas? I'm gonna get chill, two black eyes for Christmas. And why two black eyes? Because I told him twice. <laughs> my contention from day one is I was the baddest dude in the world and I couldn't get my opportunity. When I got it, I ran with it and I'm still here. You're gonna tell your kids he was real, he exists. A jail son and actually walked amongst us for that. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. You're welcome. You don't understand what you got yourself into, son. I'm gonna slap you around like a little f you are. If you wanna fight, what a funny coincidence, because it turns out so do I. You think I'm full of Look at my career, look at your career. Ortiz rules! When my dad died, the, the last thing I ever said to him, I said to him, I'm gonna beat Tito Ortiz. And I'm gonna win the world championship. It's the only promise I never kept. Tito and I wrestled in January of 1997. This fight is for redemption. This fight is for payback. Um, I was a young kid back then. I got caught in a headlock that I never had a chance to fight. I pinned Tito Ortiz in 44 seconds. He dropped out of school and six months later, he was the champion of the world. I believe he should have been. I don't believe there was anybody that could beat him. I don't dispute his championship. But there was a young man that was finishing up his education and couldn't turn pro yet. He said to still be amateur per the rules. I could have stopped him in 97 and did. I could have stopped him in 98. I could have stopped him in 2000. 2000, I could have stopped the Vandalays, the Liddells, and the Shamrocks. And those guys are all great fighters. That's not me disparaging them. They're just... Tito is literally in the only profession I know of where you don't need to wear a suit and he keeps showing up in one. It's like a local funeral parlor clothes and he it's went and took class, it off a corpse. Dude, it's something you need to learn. Shows up class. looking like a maitre d' at Golden Corral. This guy's trying to take my lunch money. I ain't gonna get bullied by a bully. No way. I'm bullyproof. That ain't gonna happen. He has really started to off. He's really started to annoy me. He says stupid things. He looks at me in stupid ways. And uh, and he's a dumb dumb. I mean, he speaks like a drug addict. I don't know what's wrong with the guy. He's barely literate. I was listening to Kristen Walken, a um, little skit he did. And he talked about a lion, king of the jungle, this huge lion with a big giant mane in this hot smothering weather in Africa. 
and the little small lions come up, kind of poke at him, bite on his ear, bite on his neck. The lioness comes over and buzz, bugs him. Then you got the jackals and the rest of the wilderness looking and seeing these lions on that mountaintop. And they come over and bother him. The jackals laugh at him. The hyenas laugh at him, nip at his toes. They eat all of his food and they sit back. And they got jackals like this who think it's a comedy. Until one day he gets sick of it and he attacks and he shows to these people who the f in the jungle is. And this little hyena, I'm gonna eat right through him. And we'll see on Saturday night. It, 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 you know what? It's good because it, it fuels me. It's fueled me over the last 14 weeks. And it's great to see. Because you hear that snoring nose? That's a snoring nose you're gonna hear in the second round of the fight. <coughs> ha, that's good. That's some, that was good. That was good work by you. I gave you a good setup. Yeah, you're a, you're a good comedian, man. That's about it. You're a good, you're a good actor. That's about it. He's not selling out the forum on January 21st. Chael P. Sonnen is. And the P stands for icon. Look at my career. Look at your career. You've been dominated time and time and time again. Look at my career. How many world titles have you won? His mouth has gotten him every fight, big fight that he's had. And every time when it's time to present and perform, he's failed. Tito always says I'm using my mouth to get my opportunities. The only person I know that made money using their mouth is his ex-wife. Touch gloves, touch them now. Good, step back, good luck. Not a chance. Take down by Tito. Nice sweep by Chael. He has a great guillotine if he can get on top and use it. Oh, waste a lot of energy early. He's giving the thumbs up. He's out. Exactly where Chael didn't want to be. Full mount. Stepped over. Tito inching towards that legendary Hall of Fame ground and pound. This is what he's been known for throughout his career. His top pressure. Now he's on the back. And this is a bad start for Chael Sonnen. Tito had to start early, and he did. Is he under the chin? He is not, but Tito might be strong enough to finish anyway. Especially early in the fight, they're dry. Tito's strong. That's it! Got him. <laughs> and it wasn't even close. Tito Ortiz writes his fairy tale ending. The winner by submission, the longtime Huntington Beach bad boy now, the people's champion, Tito Ortiz. Thank you so much. Give it up for Tito Ortiz, ladies and gentlemen. When he was tapping, I thought he was trying to grab my hands, but I kind of held on to it because I have bad, bad, I have ill will towards them. But that's just me. When someone talks about my family, someone talks about my character, I have bad will towards a person. And I've never done it like that before. I'm the loser tonight. I'm not here to promote anything, man. This is Tito's night and it's tough. Coming to a press conference when you lose is tough, but it's protocol and we all follow uh, different codes and I will say whatever I want before a fight but by God I will walk out there and answer for it and if it doesn't go my way I will show up at the press conference and hang my head as well but this is Tito's night you know you say these things like what do you say to the naysayer I've never met a naysayer I have never in my life I'm starting to think that you're one but I have never met a naysayer. I meet people that come up and say, Mr. Sonnen, 
may I have an autograph? Mr. Sun, you're my favorite fighter. Would you please sign this? I say no, I, I throw it on the ground, I tell them to kick rocks. I don't sign autographs, but that's what they say to me. They come up and say, Mr. Sun, you're a gangster, sir, may I kiss the ring? I tell them yes, I let them kiss the ring, and then I send them on their way. I say, will you pose with my kid? I said, tell your kid to beat feet. But they come up and ask, this is what people say to me. You're the greatest of all time, Mr. Sun. I have so many wonderful memories with you. We sign this card. I play the video game. I always play as you because you beat everybody. I say, beat it. I don't care. I don't care about your story. But this is what people say to me. They call me Don. They call me the Sir. They call me gangster. They call me the bad guy. So who are these people that you speak of? These people that speak ill of me. I like to go pay them a visit. I like to knock on their door, but I don't think they exist. Unless maybe it's you.